Hello guys, welcome back to the channel The Techie Guy and today we are solving our second question of DCA which is in there in the PDF and the question is for the racking ball okay the building demolish is the problem name okay so let's read the statement so a racking ball is used to demolish buildings okay the ball is suspended by a certain length of steel chain that is attached to a lifting of the crane okay so this is sort of a physics problem i thought the crane is fed with values according to which the ball moves okay and the crane is fed okay so the crane is fed with some values according to which the ball is going to move okay an array consisting of n number of distant elements representing the distance okay that the ball can move is given the task here is to find a new array of n elements okay uh constructed by using the elements of array in the following manner based on which the balls move the entire building get demolished okay so start forming the new array by first placing the least value okay so we have to start our array by placing the least value l in the array new array okay then the bigger number after l goes to the right of l in the new array the next biggest number goes to the left of l in the new array and it continues this way till the number of a uh, means the number of elements in that array are used okay for size this we have input 10 12 4 5 15 this is the value of this and this is the value of array and the question is not full in our pages so answer is 15 10 4 5 12 okay and here in this problem the answer is not given okay so answer is not given so let's uh, try to code this by assuming this one input and this one output okay and uh, the problem mainly starts from here we have to start forming a new array by placing the least value l okay so l means the least value of uh, this means the smallest value in the new array then the bigger number okay then the next bigger number after l goes to the right of the l okay in the new array the next bigger number goes to the left of this in the new array and it continues that way okay so let's assume this so 4 comes here 5 comes here okay so assume that least number is 4 so 4 will be here right now uh, wait a minute we can use marker for this problem so let's assume the array starts with 4 okay uh, then the next bigger number after l goes to the right of l so next bigger number is 5 okay so 5 is the next bigger number which is goes to the right of l the next bigger number goes to the left so next bigger number what is the next bigger number in this array so next bigger number is 4, 5, then it's to be 10, okay? So 10 comes to the left here, okay? Now, what was the in the new array? And it continues, okay? So after 4, what was the less number? So it is 12, okay? And then it is 15, okay? So this was the numeric answer which we have to found okay so this is the thing we are going to achieve here okay first we have to find a smallest number then uh, second smallest in this then this and then this and then this okay so this was the logic if you have didn't understood let me clear with that first we have to add assume this is the new array okay and this is the five blocks okay so one four is added with here and then the next big element is goes here which is five okay now the next big element is 10 so it came here then the next biggest element is 12 so 12 came here and the next biggest element is 15 so 15 came here okay and this answer is 15 10 4 12 6 okay assume in the next array if we have this is in the case of odd okay consider we are considering now it is an even so we just add one more element here so 10 12 uh, wait a minute we can itself add here so let's assume 18 here okay and this array is gonna 
big okay so now simply what is going to happen we added 15 in this now we have 18 is here maybe here or we can uh, start preparing four here five here okay then itself 10 here and here is 12 and then here is 15 and here is 18 okay so this was the answer we are going to achieve okay and this was the problem statement okay so now we are just going to do this in python okay so without wasting time let me go with the online gdb compiler and this problem we are solving in python okay yeah so we are coding this code in python okay so first of all by like solving we are just going to enter or make a function def and naming that function to demolish building okay so def demolish building okay building and this will take two parameters first is a and second is n okay n is simply what n is simply a list okay like uh, uh what we can say so one thing i am making we are making here an empty list okay and right now n is uh, a thing for i in range n so n is the size of the list okay here i am pressing two tabs okay for this right now just coming here and making this n equal to 5 here okay and making one list here so it is like uh, we are naming this an array and uh, adding some of the values which is given us to input 10 12 4 5 15 okay so 10 comma 12 comma 4 comma 5 comma 15 okay so this is the thing okay so before this let me clear you that i am using a dot here okay to sort this simply okay right now we are coming here and using the logic so logic is simply that if i mod 2 okay is equal equal to 0 then what we are going to do we are just going to add this thing in front okay so we are using li dot add or append sorry li dot append at zero position this thing which thing uh a at i okay so a at i will give us this thing other than we are coming here else and simply one two three and adding here li dot append a at i okay so this will give us an answer and after just coming here we are going to return li so this thing is completed okay All right now we are just coming here and uh, here making an address variable and calling demolish building and passing one by one thing first of all arr then passing end to it okay and we are printing res here okay let's run this okay so we are given an error list dot append exactly takes one argument and we have given here two okay so let me clear this out yeah so we are getting an error here okay so not appending in python there is insert option to insert at a particular index so we are hitting this uh insert and we are getting our answer i think 15 10 4 5 12 let's compare with this yeah 15 10 4 5 12 okay and why this is happening so let's uh, clear this so i am taking a pen here and uh, we have sorted this array here okay so after sorted our array is like this 4 5 10 5 12 and 15 okay so we are doing with this condition if i mod 2 equal equal to 0 okay 
so in the first condition 4 is at 0th position okay so 0 mod 0 this condition is true so 4 will be added at first okay then this 5 is at index 1 so it is added at last okay now 2 in 2th position there is 10 so this condition is true so 10 is inserted here at 12 this condition is false so it is added here and for 15 this condition is again true since it is at fourth index and 15 will come here okay so this is the whole logic for this and it is in python okay the java code we will update in our telegram and once in a while let me add here 18 and all you know that 18 will be at last okay 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 so here i have to update this thing with six now we are going to run this and here we have got 18 at last okay so since the question is very simple and uh, since it created a story okay and it is giving us the first value at least value so first of all we have to sort that okay so in sorting what we you can find minimum number by, one by one or we can just simply sort it and it is just first to add at left and add at right and this question is very simple okay like uh, those of you are new to coding so this uh, means this question is just a story and from here it is not a, a relevant thing like from here to here that's why i have said you have got a getting the time and one more thing this question is of nqt okay so these questions are not of dca okay trust me this question is not of these uh, like dca questions with the list you have provided but these are old dcs questions so we are doing this the uh, reason behind this is that uh that this allies and elizabeth question is coming in my nqt which i have cleared okay so in this i also know that we have to like uh uh, uh we have uses to nested loop and if this is equal then we have to send that x and y okay and this was the question so these are the questions of the nqt okay and if you have any doubts you can ask yeah so if you have any doubt just go to tech guy channel and like and comment the videos okay and we are doing all the questions in python so python guys keep chill okay so okay bye keep watching